Hi, this is Joseph from TheBodyOneWant.com, and this is the virtual assessment instruction video. And the movement assessment is, is the most important first step in creating a, an effective and safe exercise program for you and your body. Now basically, what all these little series of assessments will let me do is let me see how well do you move. It'll help me identify the weakest links in the chain, and the weakest links rule the chain. So uh, any place where you have short, tight muscles and long, weak muscles, those are going to limit all the muscles in your body. They're going to limit your ability to work out intensely, which will limit your results. And then also, uh, these are the points in your body where you're most likely to get injured. And if you get injured, obviously you can't keep working out. So in order to make sure that you keep working out long term, getting good results, and to make sure that your workouts are better, that's what this is all about. So what you're going to need to do this is I have... This is the functional movement screen kit. You don't actually need this. Um, basically, you can use a 2x4 instead of this. And instead of this rubber band, you don't need these pipes at all. You can use some tape. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. You just need some masking tape. And um, you need a stick of some sort. Usually, you can unscrew the handle from a mop or a broom, and it works just as well. So the very first thing is the overhead squat test. I want you to take a stick. Hold it over top of your head and find the point uh, between your the distance between your hands so that you have a 90 degree bend at your elbows. So once you find that, straighten your arms out completely, widen your feet until they are shoulder width apart, and you're going to squat as low as you can without any pain. So I want you to do this for me two times facing the camera, two times to the side of the camera, on the floor, and then once you, with your heels up on a 2x4, or maybe even some books or something, same thing, shoulder width apart, squat as low as you can without any pain, and then get somebody to film you from the side as low as you can without any pain. And the important things are heels stay down, arms stay up, and toes are pointed straight ahead. So that's the first one. The second one, oh, by the way, that's not how deep you should squat. I just don't want to show you um, how to do the test. Right, I want to just see what your body does. What is as low as you can do without pain? And if anything hurts, uh, say to the camera, this hurts uh, wherever it hurts. Uh, second test is the hurdle step test. So in order to do this without a functional movement screen kit, all you need is a doorway and a roll of tape. You're going to, there's a little bump um, on, your sh on your shin right below the bottom of your kneecap. And you're going to find out where that is on the door. And I just want you to put a piece of tape right here so you have a little barrier to step over. I'm going to use my fancy rubber band. So here I am. This is uh, at the height of that little bump on my shin. I want you to hold the stick on your shoulders. And I want you to look straight ahead. Don't, uh, it's very tempting to look down. Don't do that. Look straight ahead. You're going to pick up a foot up and over. Just touch the heel to the other side. Don't shift your weight. Come on back. And I just want you to uh, film that two times on each leg, somebody from the front. And if you kick the tape, that's fine. Just want to see what your body does now. So two times, two attempts, each leg. The third assessment is the inline lunge test. And for that, hopefully you have a 2x4. If you don't have a 2x4, just um, put a piece of tape on the floor so that you have a straight line. Because what I want is I want you to have your knee and your heel in line. So if you, for example, you can see this sort of line in the carpet here. It's not that visible. But for our purposes, you know, line yourself up so that your heel, your back toe, and your front heel are in that straight line. So you're going to need your stick for this one, too. And I'm going to use my board since I have a board. Make sure that your feet are far enough apart that your back knee will not hit your front toe. So first, get yourself steady on top of the board. And then with the hand that's opposite of the forward foot, I want you to grab the stick, and you're going to put that in a curve 
of your neck. So this hand's in the curve of your neck. This hand is in the curve of your lower back. <laughs> that hand's in the curve of your lower back. Try not to fall off. Uh, and then you're going to lower your back knee down and then stand up. And I'll show you that from the side. So you want the stick to be in contact with your head, your butt, and your upper back. Kneel down, touch, and then stand up. And with all these things, if something doesn't feel right, stay to the camera. This hurts here, it hurts here, wherever it hurts. So I want you to do it two times from the side, one time from the front, on each leg. So the next one is a shoulder mobility test. And for that, it's pretty simple. Take your hands, name your feet together, make two fists with your thumbs inside your fist, turn around so your back is facing the camera, and I want you to see how close can you get your hands behind your back keeping tight fists. So it'll look like this, see how close they get, don't walk your hands, and I want you to do that once this way, hold for a few seconds, once the other way, hold for a few seconds, and then I want you to face the camera, take one hand, put it on the opposite shoulder, Raise the elbow. Let me know if, you, if that hurts at all. And then I want you to do the same thing this side. Raise the elbow and let me know if that hurts. So that's the shoulder mobility test. Next up is the active straight leg test. For this, uh, you have a 2 by 4 If you don't have a 2 by 4 roll up a towel. Because I want something, uh, I want you to have something to keep in contact with the back of your knees. So you're going to lay down flat on your back. With the backs of knees on whatever you got. Put the backs of your knees on. And I want your toes pointed straight up the ceiling. Most, a lot of people tend to see is to roll them out. Make sure you got them straight up in the air. So I'm going to lift this leg and I'm going to keep this leg pushing down on the ground. So the back of this knee's got to stay down. You're going to raise this leg up as high as you can, keeping this knee straight and this knee straight. And I want you to do that three times on this leg and then three times on this leg, keeping this knee straight and the toes pointed straight up at the ceiling. So the next screen, all this out of the way, is truck stability push-up screen. This is going to let me know how well does your core function. So you're going to lay down on your stomach. For the ladies, you're going to start with your thumbs at your chin. For the fellas, you're going to start with your thumbs up at your forehead. You're going to move your hands apart until they're shoulder width apart, tuck your toes under, and just do one push-up. So at the sort of the starting position, so guys do one, thumbs at the forehead, then do one with your thumbs at your chin. Ladies, one with your thumbs at your chin, one with your thumbs down in your armpits. Just one push-up. I just want to see what happens. Next up is the rot rotational Stability test, and basically this is how well the upper and your lower body coordinate each other. And again, it's just another core function test. So if you have a 2x4, I want you to straddle it with your knees on either side and your thumbs on either side. And I want you to straighten out your opposite arm and your opposite leg. Bring them together, touch them underneath your body, and straighten them back out. And I'll show you what that looks like from the side. So you straighten out. Sorry, at the same time. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Touch your elbow to your knee. And then push them straight back out. And once you, I want uh, footage of this from the side. So two times on this side, two times from the other side. And then just once, I want you to see if you can touch the same side elbow to the same side knee. Just one time on each side. The final thing that I want you to do Actually, almost the final thing. Uh, I just want you to stand up and tell me, can you touch your toes? Just show me you trying to touch your toes and if it hurts or anything like that. The last two things are also, they're just sort of pain tests. I want you to lay down on the floor. This time your hips are going to stay down. Just push your arms straight. Let me know if this hurts. And the other one, up on your hands and your knees. Push your hips back with your head down and just let me know. If anything, anywhere hurts when you do this. And remember, 
anything hurts in the test, please let me know. And make sure that uh, when the person is taking a video of you, that we can see your feet, your head, all of your body.